morning and welcome to Comedy Prairie News. Today is October 3rd, 2017. I'm Sadie. And I'm Aiden. Today for lunch we'll be having chicken fajita or turkey and cheese on a pretzel roll, sweet potatoes or celery, choice of fruit, and choice of milk. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. To lead you in the pledge today we have special guest, National Honor Society. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, NHS, for leading us in the pledge today. Our first announcement today is from Mrs. Chistel. Avita will meet Thursday after school this week in the high school library from 3 to 4. Again from Mrs. Schiestel, there will be a prom committee uh, meeting today after school in Mrs. Payne's room. All prom committee members should plan to attend this very important first meeting. Thank you. The last day for onset practice is Wednesday, tomorrow, October 4th, before and after school. You must work at three practices in order to go to the competition on October 11th. If you need to make any special arrangements for practicing, see Mrs. Sherwood. Permission slips are due October 6th. Now for Mrs. Harold, there will be an art club meeting today from 3 to 4.30 in the art room. Students in grades 9 through 12 who did not get to attend the first meeting can still come. If you have a project you would like to work on, you may bring it to the meeting. Otherwise, we'll be starting a new project for those who don't have one. We hope to see some new faces. Come and join us. We listen to music, make art, and eat snacks. And uh, what could be better than that? <laughs> we'll see you there. The YSU English Festival will be held on, on April 18th for grades 10 through 12 and on April 19th for grades 7 through 9. If you are interested in participating, please sign up outside of Mrs. Cawthorn's room and pick up a permission slip. Permission slips are due and registration fees are due on October 20th. The books list are also posted. This year's authors are Chris Crutcher, Lori Hulse Anderson, and Kekla Magoon. Scholastic Publishing is sponsoring a student poetry contest for students in grades 7 through 12. Information is posted outside of Mrs. Cawthorn's room. Submission deadline is November 15th. Propaganda practice will be on Wednesday, October 11th after school and Thursday, October 12th before school. You must attend at least two practices. I need teams by next Friday so I can register. Mrs. Sherwood. Mrs. Chesmer, all students who are participating in the Europe Trip fundraiser are reminded that sandwich orders and money are due on Thursday, October 5th. Um, Mrs. Chesmer can't accept late orders. Lastly, uh, any students in grades 7 through 12 interested in varsity cheerleading should please see Nikita Davison or Julia Moses. All right, now for cross country highlights from the Cockerton Invitational. Congratulations to all the cross country runners for doing such a great job on Saturday. Now to JC with the weather. Good morning and welcome to CP Panther News. I am your weatherman today, JC. Well, today we're going to have a high of 78 with a low of 50%. Precipitation of 10%, humidity of 50. Here are some words from our sponsor. Both. Nothing? That's it for today. I just hope that you tune in tomorrow for more CP Panther weather. All right, now there's a number of games tonight. Uh, volleyball is away at Rocky Grove. 
Girls Junior High Basketball is home versus Rocky, Gro Rocky Grove, and Cross Country is away at Reynolds. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Sadie. And I'm Aiden. Tune in tomorrow for more Commodore Perry News.